the blackness. Keep the keep on. Hey y'all, it's your favorite black ass cousin, Monica Makita, and this is the Pure Blackness Podcast, where we talk about all things black, like we at the kickback or at a cookout, honey. This week, in the spirit of summer, I want to dive into black folks and traveling and experiences. Listen, one thing about me, baby, I'm going to book a flight and I'm going to go. If it's something I want to do, I don't care what city, state, whatever, I'm going. And I've been starting to notice that so many people always are like, yo, you'll just da 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 Like, how did you find that out? Like, what did you do? And I've never used a travel agent. I've never done any of that. But there are so many resources that will grant people those same opportunities and spaces. But I came to realize it is not even about traveling per se. It's more about a mindset. So let's dive into it, y'all. I think for most of us, growing up, we may have come from, you know, middle class, family, some single parent family type of situations where for the most of us, regardless of the life we've been, we've built for ourselves now, most of us have that kind of, you know, my mom or my dad really ain't had a money like that, but you know what, they made it work. And in those type of familial structures, it doesn't always grant the space for extra financial flexibility where, you know, family vacations and family experiences are embedded in your everyday life. So I get it. A lot of us growing up, we didn't get that privilege of traveling and seeing the world and all of that. I didn't get my passport until I was in a full-blown adult and I didn't travel international until I did it on my own. <laughs> um, no shade to my parents because y'all the best. But I mean, just realistically speaking, a lot of us didn't get that, you know, young and a young black and abroad type of energy growing up. But just because that is what we are used to doesn't mean that's what we have to limit ourselves to now. And let me be clear, I'm not talking about being irresponsible financially. Don't be like, yeah, I listened to this podcast and they told me to um, skip out on my rent payment and buy this flight. That's not what I said. <laughs> but I want to get more into it because I genuinely feel like it's a mindset. And I also understand that travel isn't for everyone. Not everyone is interested in traveling, flights, you know, seeing like a, a lot of people just aren't interested in that. So when I'm saying travel, I'm speaking more so about experiences. We as Black people need to grant ourselves the space and the freedom to be able to enjoy the experiences and life that we desire. We are beyond worthy of that. And y'all know how I always say, our ancestors died for that shit. Like it is our birthright to be able to venture out into this world and experience things that we are interested in, that we've always wanted to do, that may be on our bucket list, whatever the case may be. Maybe you are not interested in going to Jamaica or Tulum, <laughs> but maybe it's this really dope lake in Georgia somewhere that you've always wanted to see. Or, you know, it's this park that has a beautiful view in Tennessee that you're like, yo, I would love to see that in person. Or even if it's just in your hometown, like in your home state, but it's like an hour and some change away. Regardless of whatever it is that your heart desires, grant yourself the space and opportunity to experience it. Don't feel like you are simply put on this earth to be in a mass production capacity where you have to work, you got to pay bills, you have to fill these responsibilities that match the roles that you have in life, whether that be mother, father, son, um, teacher, like what I know as we become adults, we adapt to these titles and we sometimes let it put us in this sort of like mental imprisonment. You are more than what your titles are in this world. 
And once you start to take that into account and really do some self introspection and really just give yourself the space to, to dream, to have desires, all of that, you'll see what your interests are and what those experiences may be that you want to have in life. Like I said, everybody isn't interested in traveling and that's okay. But if you are, don't limit yourself to what other people is going to think is popular as well. I get it. This is so Instagram, social media culture right now where it's like, yeah, you know, I want to go to the beach, but if I go to the beach and I have to be at like South Beach, I need to be somewhere that's pretty much Instagrammable. <laughs> is that a word? I just made it one, but I get it. Like for the most part, when people are even thinking about things they want to do subconsciously, whether y'all want to admit it or not, a lot of people are thinking, how is this going to look on a gram or Ooh, what outfit can I wear to make this pop on my pictures? And it's like, are you even more focused on the experience or you're more focused on what you can capture in that moment of you quote unquote, experiencing the experience. <laughs> I want us to get beyond that because if your main focus is what it's going to do for the grandbaby, you're nine times out of 10, not even actually enjoying the moment because you're so worried about capturing it for others to see. I know Drake said that in a song, like some girl he knows is like so infatuated with traveling just so she can post pictures. So people back home can see the pictures when it's like girl be in the moment <laughs> but beyond that like i said the main thing i want to focus on because that's an entirely other podcast about social media culture and the things people do to flex for other people instead of actually being present that's a whole nother podcast honey the main thing i want to talk about today is again just to reiterate that we have to grant ourselves the space to travel, to experience the things that we desire. Because again, we as Black people need that moment. We need those moments to decompress. Listen, it's already hard enough out here adulting and fulfilling the responsibilities that this world has set up for us. What is your moment where you let your hair down? Where is your moment where you can breathe and relax? But I also get it. It may come off like I'm speaking from a place of privilege, which I do understand. I get that everyone isn't even able to obtain a passport due to a lot of the systemic racism that is in this country, honey. But again, whole nother podcast. <laughs> so I get it. Maybe you can't get your passport. Maybe because of other legal reasons, you can't even travel outside of your state. But whatever it may be that you desire, even if it's just a road trip to try a new restaurant, you have the right to grant yourself experiences. Don't limit yourself thinking that it's something that's un unobtainable because it is not at all, honey. Plan responsibly, save your coin. Regardless of how long that it takes, even if you got to say $5 every two weeks, baby, do what you need to do to grant yourself a moment of happiness. You are more than worthy, baby. And don't you ever forget it. I want each of us to think about something that you like, oh my God, I always wanted to do that. Even if it was like, as a kid, I always wanted to go to this certain amusement park, or I always wanted to have an ice cream at this particular ice cream shop, <laughs> whatever it is. I want us to move out of that scarcity mindset where we focus on what we lack and what we can't do and what we can't have and the limitations and focus on abundance, focus on the opportunities that we have available to us. My favorite meme that I've seen all this week is like, you will never be this young, this fine, and most likely your body will never be in this particular shape that it's in right now. Whatever you want to do, you do that shit. <laughs> and that goes 
for the 30 year olds, the youngest and the oldest and the elders. It goes for everybody. <laughs> like this is, you have to understand that this moment that we're in right now is a moment that we will never get back. Time is the only currency that we cannot renew. That money will come back. This time is all that we have. So truly, truly grant yourself the space to not only dream and have desires, but to fulfill them. Really ask yourself, when was the last time you did something that you wanted to do that made you happy? Whether that's traveling or an experience, when was the last time you granted yourself the space to say, I really want to do this? And you did it. And it wasn't linked to you making money or producing something for this capitalistic society. It's really just for your own personal fulfillment and joy. You're not buying something to please other people or to be able to post about it. You did something just literally out of the sheer fact that you wanted to do that shit and it made you happy. When was the last time? Really, really, truly think about that. Think about what that experience is that you want to have that you've never been able to do or one that you used to do and you want to do that shit again. Think about it. And like I said, if you are interested in traveling, there are so many different resources that you can use. Um, I always use Google Flights. They literally have a feature where you can put in weekend trips and it'll show you the best deals, the best flight deals for the next six months to a year. If you want to do a weekend, three days, five days, a week, whatever, it literally will search all of that for you. But even if there's like a destination spot that you want to use, I love the app Hopper. You put in your dream destinations and it will track when those flights are the cheapest. And honestly, honey, if you are into the islands, because y'all know I'm an island gal, I love to be laid out on the beach, honey. If you are looking to do something like that internationally, always check out CheapCaribbean.com. I've used them for Aruba and Panama, and I got an amazing deal, all-inclusive. And listen, as a black person, nothing tops. <laughs> I ain't gonna say as a black person. I'm I'm speaking for me. Nothing tops being at an all-inclusive, meaning all-inclusive resort where I can literally be at somebody's swim up pool bar, drinking what I like, and then eating as much as as, as much and as whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> there are not too many things that give me that much pleasure in life, like being on an all-inclusive, honey. But even with that, some people haven't even experienced that. And as your favorite Black cousin, I want that for you. But more importantly than that, I want you to just give yourself the space to have desires to want to experience whatever it is that you're interested in. Even if it's just attending a festival or a conference or anything, y'all just do that shit, period. <laughs> I love us. I love y'all in my Monique voice. I love us for real. <laughs> and I want Black people to have the happy, successful, fulfilling lives that we all deserve. Because like I always say, that shit is our birthright, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And of course, this podcast is sponsored and powered by shopconsciouskingdom.com. <laughs> Make sure that you shopconsciouskingdom.com, follow us at Conscious Kingdom, as well as keep up with all things podcast at the Pure Blackness podcast on Instagram and all that good stuff. And just a friendly reminder. I know I've said it a million times, but think about it. Think about all the things that your ancestors and those that came before you have sacrificed for you to be here in this exact moment. Cherish it. Thrive in that shit. Thrive in your blackness. Love your blackness. 
your blackness is enough, baby. You are worthy, regardless of what that blackness looks like, no matter what your interest may be, from the weird, the unknown, the crazy, the kink, the all of it. It's yours. So own and thrive in that shit. And make sure y'all come back next week around Grandmama House so we can do this all over again. It's your favorite Black-ass cousin signing off for the Pure Blackness Podcast.